everybody. Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be taking a New York steak. We're going to be seasoning it up and we're going to get the best flavor we can. Welcome to Cooking with Steak! see we have all these different spices butter and oil and everything salt pepper everything else we're going to need here is our piece of beef today New York steak first thing we're going to do is we're going to salt it now we're gonna do the same thing with the pepper notice the pepper there's a lot less pepper Now we have our sea mix seasonings, barbecue and seasoning sauce. So what we're going to do with the barbecue is so we're going to do barbecue on one side. Now we're doing, doing our seasoning salt on the other side. I'm just going to kind of dump it on there and we'll rub it in. Now we're going to take butter and we're just going to lightly take a thing of butter just a short line and we're gonna glaze it on there. Okay, we have our oil here we're gonna oil up the pan now last time I used a small pan this time we got a big pan because it's a bigger steak we want the whole thing all right and ready we're gonna use this time we're using tongs because you can get a grip on the steak better and you can set it right in that grill We're going to cook it about two minutes, and then we're going to flip it, and then we're going to cook it two minutes, and then we're going to flip it and flip it to the side and cook it for about a minute or so on the side, and then we're going to turn it way down and just slowly cook it, flipping it every minute. Stay tuned. Now I'm going to hold it here for about a minute and let it get the side going. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to put it back to its original side. And we're going to turn it way down, all the way to medium low. And then we're going to still continue to flip it every minute. Alright, this is the last flip. We're going to cook it for one more minute and then we're going to take it out. All right. Now you want to let it sit for about five minutes before we cut into it. So in the meantime, we're going to make a little gravy over here. A little more oil. I'll turn this back up. A little bit of butter and hot pepper flakes. Get all that extra fat from the steak in there and we're going to pour this right over our steak before we serve it. So the steak is sat long enough. What we're going to do is we're going to take this sauce and we're just going to nicely sizzle it right over the top of that steak. Moment of truth. And we're looking at butt. Now see, the flavor is really good. But what I was going to say is, the steak is thick here, and thin here, so in order to get this medium rare, this over here will have to be well, or medium well, so we're going to cut over here and see what we got over here. Uh, that's looking a little more like it. Mm, 
pretty close to a medium. Still overcooked it a little bit, but the flavor is really good. Episode three, our main goal will be to get that get that perfect medium rare. That's pretty close. That's a lot closer than last time, but it's still not perfect medium rare. Just got to cook it a little less. So, so we did two minutes on one side, flipped it over two minutes on the other side, then about a minute on the side, and then I turned it way down. Next time we'll do one minute, one minute, side, turn it down, about 30 seconds per flip, about three flips, and then we'll serve it up. Thank you for cooking the steak, and I've had a great time. I hope you did too. I hope you learned something, and uh, see you next time for episode three. <laughs>